Welcome back to another John Giants Overtime video. The third video I'm uploading today. I think it's the third in the order I'm uploading, or the second maybe. I'm going to upload three. All, all I know, there's going to be three up there for today. So whoever subscribed to this channel, I'm sorry that you're getting notified three times. You only need to be notified once and stick around for like ten extra minutes. Anyway, here we are going to talk about the Giants and their victory over Packers. Why I've already uploaded videos as to why I haven't uploaded about the Cowboys and the Bears. Short story. Cowboys we lost, Bears we won. There. For the Packers I'll get a little more in depth, but that's later in the episode and we'll see you then. Oh, I'm just stretch my arms. Okay. Sitting at this desk way too long. Anyway. The Giants beat the Green Bay Packers today 27-22. to There was a lot of good out there. Some bad, but a lot of good. You saw against the Packers. Thing to know, nobody thought we were going to win. We had no receivers. Were injured, I believe, at every single position. There was an injury at every posi single position. Somewhere in some area, there was an injury everywhere. Which is usually a problem. We, our wide receiving core was c consisted of a bunch of practice squad rejects. Barkley was injured for a drive. Jones was working off a busted up ankle. We're missing Leonard Williams and Aziz Ojolari. We lost o a Dory Jackson in that game. Like I said, Jones was working off that ankle and some other injuries that I'm not going to note. But for now, I think there are three things that won us this game. First thing, the second half defensive stand. The second half performance in general, I should say. In the second half, I believe we outscored them 17-2. to And the only two points that they scored were the intentional safety that we allowed them purposely to waste more time off the clock in the last 15 seconds. So, excluding the intentional safety, we outscored them 17-0 to in the second half. We were down 20-10 and we end up winning 27-22 with the safety. Point being, the offense in the second half played, played, the first half offense was okay, but the second half offense was spectacular, whatever they needed to be. The defense, like I said, they, they, had, they have a shutout for the second half. Second half shutout equals win. And this is against Aaron Rodgers. This is against Aaron Rodgers, one, a Hall of Fame quarterback, a future Hall of Famer, I should say. First ballot, probably. So you got Aaron Rodgers. And you shut him out in the second half. This guy is notorious for comebacks, and you shut him out. That's that's what I'm thinking. Basically, Rodgers, I believe, was 25 for a little less than 30, like 37, 38, 39. A little less than 40, I should say. We didn't want him to defend the pass. He tried to play hero ball. Didn't really work for him. They could have ran the ball a little more, but I guess Aaron Rodgers wanted to have a torch day. He didn't have that. He had a little less than two, a little less than two forty, two fit, two thirty, maybe two touchdowns that happened in the first half. Obviously, nothing in the second half. Daniel Jones, on the other hand, now I don't care what the stat line says. The stat line doesn't support how well he played, because you're talking about a guy with no practice, with practice squad receivers, an O line that's giving up pressures left and right. A running back who is on the high alert for any injury, any injury whatsoever. You got hot. You're on high alert because everybody counts you out. You're right now looking at probably your last season unless he does something, which I think he did today, yesterday, I should say. You got Daniel Jones. I'm really proud of how he played because the whole thing about Jones before the season was he was he's he's okay, but you know, man, I mean, if he it was always excuses for him in a way. His O line was always bad. His receivers were always injured. His running back was wasn't there half the time. His defense kept messing up from time to time. There was really every excuse in the book for him. But all you needed to hear was, at some point, you got to rise above that and take that next step. Look what he did! Look what he did yesterday. He did exactly that. He rose above his struggles and and made some plays and he won the game. Even without Berkeley on that drive, a touchdown drive that ties the game without your been the best player you've had in, in a long time. The best player on your team by, by a long shot. Without him on a drive that ties the game. Where he took to, where he took a where he took stand and won that game for them. So 
give a hand for Daniel Jones because he won that game for the Giants. All right, coming back to Saquon Barkley. He had 13 carries for 70 yards, which I believe is a little, a little. I think it's five some per carry. He had a 35, 36 yard reception on, on like a drag cross slant route, whatever you want to call it. And he, may, he broke somebody's ankle. Somebody's still probably fishing for them ankles in London right now. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. <I'm> just... <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. Yes, he broke his ankles on the field. And big reception for Barkley. The old line actually did pretty okay today. I, I give some credit to Daniel Jones because his pocket presence definitely showed up later in the second half, and that definitely prevents a lot of sacks, having good pocket presence. But the O-line did an okay job against what's considered an elite pass rush defense overall. They did a pretty good job. The receivers, like Darius Slayton, they came through. Even Marcus Johnson had two, three receptions. He's, he is a the, the definition of a practice squad receiver on my, on my eyes. He is the definition for this team. Because he was signed strictly because we just needed some depth as a position. That's it. And he wasn't even expected to play. He was just there for insurance. And guess what? We need to call the insurance company, Marcus Johnson. He made a few receptions, a play down in the red zone. Darius Slayton had a good game, about 70 plus, 70 plus yards for, I think, six receptions. He did miss a deep ball, like a timing route, a good ball. Where he could have had it if he had his head turned around. You could also argue Jones kind of rushed the throw a little bit. You could also argue Darius Slade needs to turn his head around. That's a play. That's like a eh, play. That's a, well, it could have gone this way. It could have gone that way play. And I don't like to waste my time on plays like that. Where you see a lot more good plays. If you're not learning from a bad play, then why focus on it? Why focus on something that's not going to benefit you in any way? That's my philosophy in terms of that. And I was going to talk about something else. Yes, Jones, his stats. At the, I think in the second quarter, I saw his stats were 8 and 13. His stats, I believe, finished with 21 and 27 for 220 ish yards, no touchdowns, no picks, a lot of rushing yards. He, that means since that second quarter, he missed one pass. And I believe I remember the pass he missed. It was a throwaway in the red zone. Where he was looking to throw for the touchdown, but he also saw no one was open. So he, instead of forcing a ball or taking a sack, fumbling or anything he did in the past, threw the ball away out the back of the end zone where nobody could get it. Moved on to the next down, they ended up scoring a touchdown. See, in any other game, that could be a pick. That could be a fumble. That could be a sack. That could take them way away from, they can take them far away from the first down yard line. And now you got to take a field goal instead of taking the touchdown. And who knows how the game goes at that point. Anyway, point being, that's a, that decision right there, that one decision, that one stat, that one little stat, stat degrader, if I call it that, is what, could, is what you could argue made the difference in that game. That one little stat divider. Sure, Jones' stats took one little hit, but still a good day for him. Still a good win. In terms of the defense, the defense did everything they needed. Dexter Lawrence got a sack. I think O'Shane Zimenez got the got the strip sack. He just touched the football as Rodgers threw it. I think O'Shane Zimenez got in there. Did Jihad War was close? I thought he, I thought I saw him miss, and then I thought I saw fifty three. I think that's O'Shane Zimenez. Let me Google this really quick. Um, let me look, looking for, and his numbers aren't shown here. I'm pretty sure it's O'Shane Zimenez. Anyway, defensive injuries, I said a lot of, I said the most important ones. Aziz Ojolari, Leonard Williams, and Dory Jackson, big injuries there. DJ Davidson left the game. It's kind of a, kind of an injury you don't want. Obviously, Ellerson Smith, Rodarius Williams, and Aaron Robinson are all on the IR right now. Darnay Holmes played pretty well. Fabian Morrow. Fabian Moreau, Fabian Morrow, whatever you want to call it. He had a big knockaway. That almost was a circus catch, but it was a big play. To stop a deep play on a drive that the Packers really needed to 
to score on, or at least drive drive the ball deep with. Then you had Justin Lane with a good deflection. I saw Tony Jefferson in some plays. It was a good play, a good game all around. And that brings me to the next, to the rest of the season. With them beating teams like the Packers and the Titans, it's, everyone expected them to suck this year. We're looking at playoffs. Sure, we're in third place because the Eagles and the Cowboys seem to be unstoppable. I don't know why. But we're looking at a playoff spot. Maybe not even the division because we're 4-1 we're and, and we're like, talking about a third place wild card. That's what we're looking at. But still, I mean, look at the rest of the year. You got Baltimore. You may not win that game. You might win that game. For all we know, the Giants fight to the end. They're always a threat to win. But then you got the Jags, you got the Seahawks, you got the Texans, you got the Lions, you got the Cowboys. You got Washington twice, and you got Indianapolis and Minnesota. All games you could pretty easily win. You got the Eagles twice. Might not even beat the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. I'd, I'd love to see that, because that's the Thanksgiving game. There's a game right after my birthday, and the Lions is the game right on the day before my birthday. So, I'd like to see a few wins there. Come on, one New York, make some plays. <clears throat> anyway, wins. I'd like to see them. We can win. We have won. We're winning. All I have to say, last time I made a speech like that, the Yankees went on a big losing streak and almost missed the playoffs. They made it, though, in the end, and that's what I think the Giants are going to do. Anyway, that's it for this video. I got to upload this one, too. It's the third video I got to upload. The third video I'm recording for today. Hopefully the last. Unless I, for some reason, make me... You know what? I'll save that for next video. Have a good day. Bye. Wait, wait. Nope, not bye. Not bye. Not bye, not bye, not bye. In the description, you'll probably see a video. There's a link called the CIA Discord link. It's some sort of Discord link. It is for the CIA. Basically, this CIA, this CIA thing... It's a group that I created with my friends over on Joke Over the Class Presidency. Because I went for class president, I lost. But then everybody, they made a joke saying it was rigged. Because the person I was going against, they, they decided. Because the, the way they were campaigning, like, they gave away candy. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. And then when I lost, they're like, ah, it's a fix. It's, it's funny. I don't really care that much, but... Yeah, we made a server based off that joke called the CIA. And I find it hilarious. It's also like a sub server of a server called the Union owned by owned by my friend Kai, I think. I think it's still owned by Kai. It's moderated by a few friends. Point being, check both of those servers out. I should link them both in the description if I remember to. And with that, I'll see you later.